Hey, welcome back to another episode in the channel. So I'm making Ured or Urad Tarkadal. All Tarka means is that you're going to be frying some spices and other ingredients separately and adding it to the boiled lentils at the end and that's all it means. So to start with I've got four very ripe tomatoes really finely sliced so they disintegrate in the pan quicker. I've got two tablespoons of ginger and garlic. We're going to be using a good pinch of hing. We've got some fresh lemon to add to the lentils as they're boiling. We'll have a look at the lentils in a moment. A teaspoon and a half of haldi or turmeric. A teaspoon and a half of salt. We've got two of the larger green chilies sliced. Use, use smaller chilies, use more. Add the chilies to your preference. A teaspoon of garam masala. A teaspoon and a half of cumin seed, a teaspoon and a half of Kashmiri chilli powder and for anybody that's really familiar with dal it's really simple, it's a staple, it's healthy, it's colourful, it's nutritious but I like to add a couple of vegetables to it just to break up the monotony as it were so I've got one carrot peeled, top tailed, sliced down the middle and cut finely and I've got about half a courgette there exactly the same just for a little bit of added bite and taste so it breaks up the consistency although we've got a bunch of coriander I'm only going to be using like a small handful really finely chopped and I've just got the bunch there because coriander always chop it at the time you're cooking so if I can just put this away a moment let's have a look at the lentils I'm using Urid dal so there are two different types of Urid or Urad Dal, depending on the dialect, doesn't really matter. These are white, so originally they're black. These have had their shells removed and they've been soaking for about half an hour and they've been thoroughly washed. Now I'm just going to put them on the heat and really simply, let's get a better angle, not that it's going to make much difference, let's just add the turmeric and salt give it a stir not exact on how long that's going to take it's all about the process not about the timing so as soon as they're softened we'll come back if you want them to soften quicker add a lid so the great thing about waiting for your lentils to cook we've got a few things to do in the meantime so, I would say that was about three tablespoons of desi ghee. Uh, somebody asked me the other day, thanks Phil, um, why desi ghee? For one, a lot of people have recommended it. Two, it's really, really tasty. And three, it's a little bit less calorific, so it's a little bit healthier than ordinary ghee. And it's a couple of pounds more if you live in the UK, so everybody's a winner. So we'll just let it come to the boil, we'll come back. And before I forget, let's just simply add those carrots and courgettes to the lentils as they're boiling. So the oil seems nice and hot now. Let's add the cumin. Give that a good stir. Don't overdo it with the cumin. I know we all love cumin. You can smell it in your armpits when you go to the gym or exert the next day. But don't overdo it with the cumin. It's really bitter. So, acia fatida or hing powder. Just gives a unique flavour. I'm just adding about a third of a teaspoon there. And a lot of people smell it and go, ooh, that's disgusting, I'm not going to add it. If you don't like it, don't add it. But one thing I can say, once you add it to hot oil, it changes and it sort of mimics the... Um, the flavour of ginger and garlic, that's why Orthodox Hindus, known as Jains, use it uh, because they don't take ginger and, uh, sorry, garlic and onion because it, it, it increases the libido and sexual desire is not a virtue in Orthodox Hinduism, but that's another thing. So we'll just let that come back to a nice uh, 90 seconds, we'll, we'll come back. And if you're thinking what the libido is, we all have it, it's a natural instinct. 
it means trying to get your way with the opposite sex. So let's add the ginger into that. Pick out the little flavours and try not to lose your eyebrows in the process if it was anything like that. One minute we'll come back. So ginger and garlic, nicely roasted. Why I'm adding it before the tomatoes? Because as I mentioned earlier we wanted to disintegrate them. As soon as we add a water content like that, so it hasn't decored or we're using the seeds of the tomatoes, the whole thing, as soon as we add a water base, yeah, it will sizzle, but it will stop it frying. So, let's just add those tomatoes. We'll come back once they've heated up. So that's our tarka being prepared. Um, some people are going to criticise the video. Really, there's just no point in doing it, because you can make dal however the hell you want. Even when you're talking about authentic, Authentic will apply to a region, even in that region. Spend time there and see people cooking it all different ways, you know, all different ways. So, in with the garam masala, the fresh green chilies, and the Kashmiri chili powder. Not to get it too hot, but just to give a nice reddish colour and some nice flavour. So, yeah, it's. Uh, an inevitable part of being a YouTuber where you get thumbs down on your videos. But a lady said to me not long ago, she didn't actually say it to me, but she was on about relationships and she said, a boy talks about it and a man shows. So I'm only talking about the men here really, but if you're going to criticise one of the videos, come up with a better recipe and say, well, I want to teach this guy something. I'm not saying I'm a narrator, but I'm sure you get the picture, don't you? Don't sweat the technique. But saying that, let's sweat the onions down, and, sorry, the tomatoes down and come back in a bit. Looking good, smelling unique. So. Because I chopped those uh, tomatoes really finely, look how easily they're sweating down. And that's just been about three minutes. Which is interesting because the lentils haven't cooked yet. Now, just a handful of coriander, really finely sliced. Give that a good stir. We put it on a medium heat now. I'm actually wanting to put the lentils on the higher heat. And this on the back burner because despite the lack of presentation we can make this taka in advance we can let it cool down and we can add it to the lentils it's not a problem at all so i'm just going to sweat that down a bit we'll add some lemon in a moment we'll come back in about two minutes so that's fried We've got some caramelisation on the bottom, and that looks a really good base to do anything you want with it really. We've got some tomatoes, we've got some spices, coriander, nice and colourful and tasty. So I'm just going to bring the lentils over to the bigger part of the cooker. <coughs> Apologies, but long story short, we're going to come back when the lentils are softened and add our mixture and, uh, <coughs> excuse me, <laughs> the chilies are giving me vapours. We're about half an hour later. Just make sure everything's soft. It doesn't really matter about the timing. Look at the lemon. The lemon's looking like a piece of calamari now. You can still add that and take it out later. So let's add our tarka to that and complete the dish. bubbling away so let's add all those great flavors smells absolutely amazing really 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 healthy so that's it I just want to boil that down for another about maybe five ten minutes infuse all those spices 
flavours and uh, we'll come back and have a look what that looks like when it's ready and serve a portion. So what I'd like to do as well, this is an optional extra. Sorry the video's gone on so long. But I'm having fun, why not? I like to get a hand blender and just boil off and just blend some of those lentils, some of those ingredients. And that's about right. As soon as I get like a a mixture, that's that. Just get a really nice uh, interesting contrast of textures then. So let's come back and serve some. So there we go. I'm not going to add any coriander or pieces of bloody ginger or anything like that. It speaks for itself. It's a really simple, hearty, healthy, nutritious, colourful dish. And it is what it is. So I had a little bit of a look online earlier. Some of the monstrosities that were cooked and uh, photos. Thanks for watching. Boiling wedge of lemon going in.